grab for good. We are at a merchant store. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing filming today, so yeah. Any thoughts? Uh, nothing much, uh, but I think this is a very interesting shop, uh, wash bar, and you guys should come down. Yeah. yeah. Come down to get cold coffee Yep. And wash your clothes. But uh, this video will be out next week, so do watch. Yeah. <laughs> hey everyone, it's Emily, the fangirl. If you're interested in what it's like living as an expat here in Singapore and just tech travel things, feel free to follow along by subscribing. For those who know me and follow me on Instagram at the fangirl, I'm still deciding if I'm going to keep this name or not, or I'm going to change it to my actual name. Um, you probably would have recognized that I do a lot of side projects and I've been involved with this program called Naz Academy. Um, um, he's quite famous. He has been doing those like one minute videos and he has the most incredible videos. And he actually partnered with Grab, which Grab here in Southeast Asia is a super app. It's like the equivalent of Uber, but on steroids. <laughs> Grab here in Southeast Asia, you can order food, pay for things, send money, deliver things. You can do so many things with this app. What Grab did was basically sponsor 100 content creators in the Philippines, Singapore, and Malaysia so that they could all participate in the NAS Academy program. I was one of the very lucky few who got selected. So I went through an application process. I had to do a video introducing myself. And then they announced that I actually got into the program and I was really excited. I will say that it was quite tough for me and I thought about quitting a lot <laughs> because I do work a full-time job that is already content heavy. Um, sometimes I feel like I'm more of like a journalist than a, co a community lead, but my full-time role already involved a lot of like writing and like content creation. When I joined NAS Academy, we had three-hour classes twice a week. We had to do this for a couple of months and it was really tiring and I'm really glad I didn't quit. I had people in my cohort to really push me along and encourage me. It was a really great experience. Now that we're all, you know, done with the program, we've all graduated, we are doing this kind of like ongoing project that we create videos for Grab. I do think it's a great way for Grab to get more authentic, organic content to help support their marketing efforts. They put us into different pods. So I had two other friends, um, two other people in my pod, uh, Taran and Abi, and we had actually been matched to a merchant here in Singapore. So her name is Janet, and she is the founder and the owner of It's Bublin Wash Bar. Um, it's actually in the, never eat soggy waffles, it's in the west. So I traveled all the way, uh, you know, where I live to the west and got to meet her. Um, we did an interview segment and we got to talk to her and actually ask, ask her about her business. It used to be a laundry mat and they actually pivoted the business and so what they did was remodel the place, push back the laundry mat and then they built a boba bar on the side and there's seating and people come there. It's a very localized business and I think it's so awesome what they did. I just loved the energy. I loved it so much. Like I was there and I mean, even though it was like chaotic, it was a good chaotic, it was a good chaotic mess because people were like, you know, curious, like kind of stopping by, like people who know the owner and they're just like, oh, what's going on? They're very curious. People, grab drivers were picking up drinks to go do their deliveries. There are also two kids helping out with the business. Family friend and his mom came by and stopped by and just like hung out. So it was just really fun. It just like really touched my heart. I was like, wow, like, you know, so this is someone who's built a business from the ground up with her family. Everyone knows her and um, yeah, she's just a great person. We did a video and um, thanks to Tarn who actually edited the video, he did an amazing job and all credits to him. All I did was ask questions and kind of participate in it, but I wanted to show you the video. Hey Emily, how are you? Hey Abby. Hey, what happened to your shirt? Oh my god, what's this? Must have been from my bike. Ah, Abby, who cares? It's so hot. Can we go get something cold and refreshing? I know of a place to solve both of your problems. Huh? Where? What do you mean? Come, let me show you. They are known as It's Publin by Wash Bar, which is in Gekpo Shopping Center located in Jurong West. It's a laundry store and a milk tea shop in the same space that has been around for 20 years. We were curious to know more about them and how they integrated both business together. So we interviewed the owner, Janet, who also shared with us their struggles, especially during the pandemic and how they revamped 
their business idea. We started the business in 1999, the laundry business. In 2001, when the Taiwan's barbecue was getting popular in Singapore, and we franchise the product, Taiwan's products. The, for the laundry business, right, we um, do delivery. So at the same time, uh, I will ask them, uh, do you want me to also uh, get you uh, the bubble tea along? Uh, the response was very good. Last year during COVID, how did you pivot your business? What difficulties did you face? This COVID has uh, come by very unexpectedly for all businesses. We really was at the loss, um, don't know what to do um, because uh, there's an entrance that closed that people are not allowed uh, to assess it easily. During the pandemic, Janet had problems selling to customers. Her business was affected by the limited number of people visiting the mall. No customers, no income. They even thought of shutting their business. But Janet didn't get discouraged. In fact, she decided to find other ways to help her business during the tough times. And that's when she approached Grab. We are great that uh, we are in grab food delivery platforms. They cannot come to us, we can bring our services to them. We to bring the drinks that are beyond 2 km, 5 km or beyond that, reach out to customers besides those that in the, here, the Heartlander. You know, like sometimes in a hurry, you're out of the house. They can just have, use their phones to make the payments to grab pay. Uh, this is a great uh, technology from grab. Apart from laundry, they also created new fancy drinks that attracted more customers through the Grab app. What advice would you give to business owners who are currently struggling with their business right now? Business rules have changed, technology changed, people change, environment change, and uh, likewise, we have to keep up with the business trends. In these times, we have to think of uh, ways to tap on to uh, technology that can help us. And people want fast and efficient service. Service has bring many benefits to our business and to our customer. This traditional business became digital. One thing that we can learn from this business is that all small businesses can succeed and I believe and I believe I believe that yours can too. Come down to Wash Bar! <laughs>
I just, I think for me, like, I personally don't want to spend my weekends walking around in a mall, even though there's nice AC. I mean, sometimes I do will walk in a mall for the AC, but that's pretty much it. I'd rather be, like, out and about. So, yeah, that was just an observation that I noticed. And I was talking to my other friends as well that, to them, the heat makes them really tired and sluggish and they want to stay inside but for me when it's hot i'm out and about i'm moving and grooving i think it's great i have like all this energy and it like makes me want to be outside like i would never spend a sunny day inside Um, when it's cold then i'm obviously inside because i don't want to move and i go into like hibernation basically so yeah anyways i've been rambling a lot i don't know if anyone's gonna keep watching until this point (laughs) but if you do you know i hope you had a great weekend um if you have any thoughts about the grab for good video please let me know it is something that we worked really hard on and i'm so so grateful to have been a part of it so yeah anyways that's pretty much it don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you just want to follow along i'm a little bit lazy today sorry guys i just like I'd rather just hold the mic today because it probably sounds better when it's closer to. All right, see ya. Here is a notice for everyone, PSA, to not eat McDonald's. It's not good for you. Makes you feel like shit. Tastes amazing, like the McSpicy. But you're gonna feel like me, because I feel like shit right now. I'm trying to run and I have like, I don't know, I feel like I'm just, I feel like I have, just weights in my stomach. I'm like being dragged down. Anyways, that's it.